And residents here in South Florida, they are preparing as well for Helene with a lot of heavy rain that could be coming to our area quite soon. Our crew is, of course, covering both Miami-Dade and Broward counties. We want to start things off with Local 10's Roy Ramos live in Fort Lauderdale. Roy. Denise and Christy, unfortunately, we've got a little bit of a clearance from that weather because about an hour or so heavy rainfall swept through this area, which really gave residents a heads up of what they could be experiencing over the next few days. Take a look right here behind me. They're already loading up with sandbags. This just one location throughout Fort Lauderdale. Those residents really not taking any chances and preparing as best they can as Hurricane Helene moves north at Mills Pond Park in Fort Lauderdale. Residents I spoke with spent the morning filling up those sandbags to protect their homes from potential flooding. As you may remember, Fort Lauderdale has several low-lying areas that are prone to flooding, and as Hurricane Helene intensifies, it is expected to bring with it wind and rain. In the past, we have seen rain coupled with king tides and storm surge, which has really proven to be a recipe for disaster with residents in areas like Edgewood losing everything to flooding. Now, I spoke with one woman today who lives in the Cis Trunk area, and she told me she lost two vehicles the last time her area flooded. Today, she is doing what she can to make sure that doesn't happen again. Take a listen. Picking up sandbags to prepare for the storm yeah. due to the water damage from the previous storms. So you've dealt with flooding before then? Absolutely. Lost a lot of things. Two vehicles, to be exact. Have you been watching the storm? Are you, are you worried? Absolutely worried. And we do know that the weather changes really begin to affect everything. So we reached out to Broward Schools who released this statement. It read in part, we are closely monitoring the storm in collaboration with local emergency management teams. At this time, there is no impact on district operations. We will continue to keep you informed and provide updates as necessary. Stay safe, Broward. Now, as we come back out live, you can see those residents right there loading up those sandbags. That really seems to be the consensus. A little bit of worry setting in because of the sheer size of Hurricane Helene and the rainfall that they just experienced a few moments ago. It was really coming down pretty hard and they are still watching closely the lightning and thunder that moves through this area. As for Mills Palm Park, this is just one location throughout the city of Fort Lauderdale. For all of those locations, feel free to log on to our website. You can find them there at local10.com. For now in Fort Lauderdale, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. All right, lots of good information there. Thank you so much, Roy. Our team coverage now turns to Miami-Dade County. Local 10's Christina Vasquez joins us live from Miami Beach, where sandbags will soon be handed out today. Christina. I am joining you live. Take a look at what will be one of two sandbag distribution centers. Where I'm joining you live is directly that surface parking lot right across the street from Collins Park. And it's going to be from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. The other location you should be seeing on your screen now. You will have to show proof of residency, and there is a limit of four per household while supplies last. Let's also talk about parking garages. We know that's been an issue here in Miami Beach and certain areas are flood prone. So let's say you want to get your vehicles out of that area. Well, the city of Miami Beach at select public garages, they're going to open to residents and employees. Again, proof will be required when you get there and this will be at no cost. That's going to open up at 5 p.m. today until 8 a.m. Friday. You can find a list of the public parking garages where you will have this opportunity on our website that is local10.com and coming back out here live i can't tell you that both the city of miami beach and the city of miami tell us that right now public works crews are out and about clearing out those storm drains just in case we do get a lot of heavy rainfall and parents i got a bunch of questions from you so we went ahead and reached out to miami Dade county public schools they say at this hour at last check there are no impacts to district operations but that they are monitoring the storm. If there's any updates on that, you can again find that on our website. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.